It's me, Angel. Yes, G, it's you, but is that her? Who waved garters into a swamp? What's a garter? Oh, here's another one of those things. Anything else in the water? Probably not. Let's just try doing two of them. Because they just needs to reach everything and not necessarily be on every single one of the- oh, dude. There we go. I'm getting them so often now. I must have been really stupid earlier. More damage, please. Okay, I got another one of these dudes. I don't need any health. Hey, did I just shit. what? Uh, do I need these at all? I don't know. I have 20. Boy, I can make it last. I want two of you. Because I can. Does he look like uh, Howie Mandel in uh, Little Monsters? Kinda does. At least to me. Let's do that. Got a lot of health now. I wonder how how high that health bar is gonna get at max. It's gonna be up at the top of the screen. Oh, has to load the game again. Oh look, my dying. Ah, oh, can't read. Concubine. How long was I sitting there? It was sing continue. I wasn't even paying attention. Hello. What's wrong, oh. Oh no! I hate to say it, G, but your girl has gone mental. She's always been crazy. That is why. Like I that? Her. But she never gets mad at you. Oh, she gets mad. One morning, after a bout of passionate love making, she was making us coffee just to get a reaction. I told her I was married. You were being funny? Yeah, a practical joke, you know. Chicks love those. Paula was so angry she grabbed a knife and chased me all over the apartment. She is scary with a knife. But right now she's chasing you. And she's a demon. And I like how they're having this idle conversation while we're being chased. Just shoot her. We're gonna fight the second one. I know how to fight you now, so. Do what you want. I'm full. Oh shit, there's three. Whoops. Dude! There we go. Do it again. There we go. Okay, can you not do that? Of course, it's the last one. Drink up. How many they're gonna be now? Wow, holy shit. Dude! You're an asshole. Oh, it's the one where it's glowing. I'm retarded. Should be easier this time. 
Okay. You. You! No! I see you! Stop! Oh shit. Drink! Shoot her! Oh my god. Okay, I need to shoot this thing. I can't. Oh, there she is. Oh, holy shit. I don't care. Fuck you. I'm about to die. I'm not risking it. Oh boy. That was some... <laughs> that was some shitty. <laughs> Who is it this time? One shot would have ended it, that's always good. Don't feed the Reaper too, man. Trophies out of the freaking yin yang. No! Don't you fucking dare. Oh my god. Fuck you, really? <clears throat> that was mine. It's probably gonna upgrade the machine gun, which I don't really care about, but I kinda wanted it. What's this? Oh, it's the heart. Never mind. I'm stupid. Oh, there it is. I kind of want it. Run! This is faster. I'm not going to kill you. There's no point. Give me my gem. Thank you. It shrunk. Now, here's a pretty prize. Mm -hmm, I smell an upgrade. Plug it in, G. That's four. Teethernator thing. <laughs> Fire an insane amount of demon teeth that double the speed. Why the flaming fuck would I want that? Not only is it worse at precision, which it's already bad at, but now it takes up more ammo than it did before. And it already ate through the ammo. It's a little much. Okay, so I see a baby. He went in. A donut. Whoops. Okay, never mind. Headshot, that's freaking close. Oh boy. Sweet, need that ammo. Can I like light you up at all? It's kind of dark. Oh, more of you? I don't, I don't like you. You're too quick. Man, I suck. <laughs> Someone needs to take the controller from me. Popping heads! Oh my god, I'm popping these heads. Okay. Will this work? No. Or is it? Is that working? I think so. Well, knock their armor off at least. What? Oh my god! Look at the damage that did, man. Is that supposed to? It's an eyeball. Looks like a donut or a cinnamon roll. Is 
Take your freaking eyeball. Jesus. What? Oh, it's only one of these things. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, no, the light won't work. That's terrible. What will I do? What will I do? Stop you. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. Where's this light going? What's this? Can you stop moving? Jeez, I can't see. Okay, I want the shotgun, man. This seems so good. When it's reloaded. It's too good, man. He's way too good. Because it is... Nothing's happening. I'm killing thousands of these things. Oh, what the hell? What? What? Happened again. Fuck. Well, all I need to do is just kill everyone. There's so many, I didn't even know that there was a finite amount. Someone's watching me. Oh, look, it's her. Run. Run. She's running backwards. Why do I feel like I'm in a movie? What, were you raised in a barn? We have the what the fuck? Type. What the fuck? Uh, hello? I didn't- come on. Fuck you. What the hell? Can I just go down there now? No? What? I thought I killed you all, but I guess not. I guess I should try out the machine gun. I haven't used it in a bit. Oh my god, this thing sh got huge! What the fuck is this? Pain's ammo though. This thing is pretty good. No, you don't. That is not how this works. I'm just dismembering him with this thing. That is insane. Oh, whoa, what the hell? She's here. Oh! She just freaking tackled me down, man. Oh. It's like the exorcist now. <laughs> All my ammo back, good. I go in there. I go in there. I can look at this. The Another book. Of the stinky grove. Call, call. For nearly 14 years, his mind had been soaring miles above. But Elliot Thomas was still stuck down on Earth, in the boring town of Sinchester. Sinchester. Sinster. What? It's pronounced Sinster. How do you know? My cousin's from Sinster. Never mind. Keep going. <sighs> Alone in his treehouse, he glued feathers to his wingsuit, 
readying himself for the day he would join the Eonyxes and Quetzalcoatls in the sky. Dinner time, cried his mother from their house across the yard. Elliot sat at the center of the table. A TV dinner was challenged this B.O. as the dominant smell in the room. <laughs> On his left, his mother yammered about her day at the ER. On his right, his father was absorbed in his smartphone. As for Elliot, his eyes were fixed on the ceiling fan. The most fascinating personality within a 10-foot radius. In home room the next day, Justin Schmakovsky threw a crappy paper airplane at him. Within seconds, Elliot had built a superior vessel. He stood up on his chair and swiftly launched the Papi Air Flieger at his unsuspecting enemy. Go, Papia Flieger, go! Zoom, splort, splort. The marvel of paper aviation lodged itself in Justin's tender eye. Oh! Mr. Thomas bellowed their teacher. Go to the principal's office. That's it? He just threw a paper airplane with then his eyeball. That's kind of messed up. Later that day, Elliot was cooing quietly to himself as he bought a candy bar in the lobby. Casey Witch Tits was <laughs> smoking nearby the fuck? and stared at him. <laughs> You'll never fly, stinky crow, she laughed. Why don't you go jack off to some bird porn? <laughs> I bet you do more fapping than flapping. Hey, that's pretty good. Fuck you, screeched Elliot as he ran for the door. How old are these kids? Like... It was dark out by the time Elliot meandered home. On the sidewalk, he passed a gaunt man. Gaunt. Stared at him intently, desperately even. Uh-oh. Someone day forgot day. a comma. The man opened his mouth and said, Uviwa, Uviza. <laughs> Elliot had planned to eat his candy bar tonight while he finished his masterpiece. But he instead held it out to the man. I know what you mean, he replied. That does not look like a candy bar in that picture. Freaking lying to him. The schoolyard was packed the next morning as Elliot's classmates waited for the first bell. Go, go! As one, the students turned toward the gate and saw Elliot dressed head to toe in his wingsuit. Oh my god. After a moment of shock, they burst into laughter. I would too. But they were already far below him. He swooped through their midst and into the school. Call, call! He bounded through the halls, zigzagged up the stairwell. What the fuck's going on? Call! The school let out a collective gasp when they saw a stinky crow on the roof with a triumphant snap. He spread his wings, and a moment later, he had leapt. The next two seconds were the most beautiful of Elliot's entire life. He could feel their eyes upon him. He was flying, and their awe was keeping him aloft. Ten minutes later, as guidance counselors... Oh my god. ...the bits of Elliot off sobbing students, and the police struggled to piece together the story you are reading now. Elliot's teacher looked down at the wreckage of the boy on the pavement and never forgot what he saw. One bloody hand had formed a peace sign. The other was giving him the finger. Like an Alanis Morissette song. The end. Okay, lovely. I don't think I'll sleep for weeks. <laughs> Okay, um, so one, he can't read for shit, uh, and two, 
That kid just splatted on the ground into a million pieces.